Hey, good afternoon. Boat Builder Bob here once again. This is a big segment today. We're taking down the structure. What's that mean? Boats going in the water. She's moving. Stand in the mast, set in the rig. Yep. Just dropped a little bit. Wow. Here she goes. <laughs> it's a high five from a white pine. Yeah. We just touched the water first time. now right <laughs> yeah. wow it's so windy Well, anyway, um, Deb and I are super excited about you. decided to buy a summer place down at the Inland House in Conway. Mm -hmm. And Mark uh, came in one day at lunchtime and we got to talk and realized that we both had an interest in history. And we said, you think there'd be enough interest to have a museum dedicated to the Inland House? Oh, okay. And we talked about it and we thought, well, we already know of quite a few artifacts. Thought, why not a Lanson? You know, there wasn't a museum dedicated to the Inland Route. Sheboygan had a museum. Indian River had a little bit of stuff. And, uh, but nobody had a museum telling the story of the Inland sure. Route. And so we thought, why not a Lanson? And so back in 2006, the Inland Water Route Historical Society became a 501 in a building and the project was really uh, well supported by the communities, uh, Burnt Lake, Crooked Lake, Central Lake. Five 
years ago, uh, we went made a trip to Michigan Maritime Museum. We saw Halsey like a 30 foot truck cat. There's a guy out on the East Coast that was building a fiberglass hull uh, made from a mold from a 1898 truck cat. Oh my. And so we talked to him and ended up buying one of those hulls. It's got a small diesel in it. Sure. Boiler. <laughs> uh, but we brought the hull back on a trailer from Kingstown, Rhode Island, out way out on the east coast in the middle of the winter between a couple of snowstorms. <laughs> and uh, ended up taking it up to the Great Lakes Boat Building School in Cedarville, where it spent the next three years being outfitted and finished with uh, some really nice woodworking. Oh, and I've seen the boat. It's fabulous. And for those of you that uh, are going to be traveling to the uh, state of Michigan, Upper Michigan, uh, Alanson is just a stone's throw north of Petoskey, just south of the bridge, uh, about 30 minutes south of the bridge. Quaint little charming town, and uh, won't have any problem finding the museum. The boat is uh, being kept in a boat house that is owned by the village of Alanson down uh, right inside the village on the river mm -hmm. and uh, we will be doing some trips to the public this okay. summer. Initially we'll only be able to carry six people but eventually after a Coast Guard facility test we'll be able to carry them. It was a windy day. It was bright and sunny. Just windy. Yeah, windy. And like yesterday. There was a guy called and uh, he had a he needed a tow, he said, uh -huh. and he was down in the sand bars. He kept it at Windjammer down there, and so I thought, well, it's kind of a long tow, but uh, you can't just say no. Going into the wind. And uh, well, when I got down there, some pleasure boaters uh, had tried to tow him, and because of the wind and inexperience, they broke the guy's windshield. Boat that she needed to tow. Uh, he had a bow, uh, bow pulpit. Oh. And they got too close, and that bow pulpit knocked the guy's windshield. And it was one of those curved glass windshields. Three thousand dollars. It was his inexperience that got right. him in trouble. Yep. And, uh, but anyway, so I went down and I did tow him. Well, later on I found out. I have to be licensed to tow. I can't just tow people. Oh no. You gotta have a license yeah. to tow even on a inland lake. Isn't that something? <laughs> but pleasure boaters, if they refuse to help somebody, there's something like a good Samaritan there is. boating yeah. that you have to help. Yes, you have to. People uh, can't. a vessel in distress. But we can't. Oh, we but you're not be, allowed to, even yeah. though you're the experienced one that should be. Yeah. <laughs> That's the way yeah. the government works. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. See you soon. Boat Builder Bob, signing off.